As I was coming up, if you watch the history of me on Conan O'Brien, there was just this, there was a, a sort of like indecisiveness. It, it was really based on this, you know, paralyzing envy I had of John Stewart when we were coming up that, you know, I just saw like, well, you know, he's just committed to a haircut and sort of nondescript clothing. And, <laughs> and that was, you know, in my mind, like 80% of his success. There's an appearance on Conan where I met a guy who I, I didn't even know him that well, and he was a clothing designer. I don't know what that meant, but I let him design me an outfit that I wore on television, and it's ridiculous. I've worn leather pants on TV. I gotta say, this is unlike you. Yeah, I wore a tie. I used to have a weird thing about green clothes. Like I really thought that if you wear green, like real green, that's gonna you're gonna bomb. But then there was a period where I could not go on stage if my shirt didn't have some sort of skull on it. And there was a period where I wore a skull ring, like a pinky ring. I had to wear these pinky rings, these silver rings. I, I was out of my mind. There's an insecurity that that's, you know, manifesting. You know, like, I'm not right, I'm not right, I'm not right. Now at the age I'm at, I just, I don't give a shit. You know, really. You, you, you know, my last special I did with a beard that I needed for another show. And I didn't really, it didn't bother me that much. I mean, I. In retrospect, you know, it would probably be better if I just had this going, but what's the worst that can happen? Another weird picture of me will be out there.